Hello, this video is about Git. I will just briefly cover what Git is and how you can get started or how you can set up your uh, new repository from the scratch or clone a repository and get going. Git is a distributed version control system where you have your repository locally on your machine as well as uh, all of your colleagues will have their version of uh, the code and you also have a remote copy on a remote server like github or bitbucket or there's tons out there so um, it could be anything any um, cloud-based version control system that you can use that supports git and a general misconception or confusion is with git and github so git is a um, it's a piece of software that you can use for version control on any machine. You can just download Git and start using it. And GitHub is a cloud implementation owned by now Microsoft. Um, and they act as a remote where you can push your code so you have a copy of your code on the cloud. I hope that's a good start. Um, you can see on the screen here I've got a GitHub page in the background and the foreground is um, a git help screen so i just typed in git and it's got a help section that's loaded so uh, we'll cover some of these commands not all of them but we'll see um, how to get more information about git which is basically the stuff over here and um, how to bisect your um, comments and see what's what's in them which is working which is not and you can tag them as well so you have git tag um, and then how to add files and push them up to the um, remote which could be github in our case so let's quickly dive in and see um, what we can do as you can see I'm here on a uh, Windows machine and I'm in a folder called junk so if I do a dir there's nothing in there so I'm just gonna make a directory and call it uh, sample local project I'm only it could be anything I'm only doing this because I called my remote repository as um, um, sample project so I do this and I could just go um, okay let's let's look at two scenarios the first one is we set up a blank empty repository add some files and push them to github um, so I'm just gonna cd into this one sample local project just clear okay so if I do a dir there's nothing in here there's no files zero bytes and zero files as you can see up here so let's do a git init is used to initialize a empty repository so we do that and it says it's initialized an empty git repository now we can do a git status to see um, what we have there's nothing here uh, it says no commits yet it's a blank repository and you can do git add to add stuff the help for github is pretty good um, I like it because when you try something and it doesn't work it'll tell you what you can do so uh, let me get some files and put them here okay so I just went ahead and copied some files if I do a git status it should find a whole bunch of them I've put in a bunch of jar files from one of the tests that I run this is all public um, information so there's no real uh, it's not a big deal if someone gets their hands on this information so um, so how do we add so basically git has a staging area where you need to add files to before you can add it to the local repository so if I do a git add and I could do each file name I could do, uh, I could do that file I 
could do that file and if I do a git status now there should be one that appears in green so the one we just entered where are you okay so git status okay yeah sorry here um, git add so that's what is now added to the staging area so it says uh, changes to be committed and that's what the changes are so to add them all you could do a git add minus capital A it takes a moment when there's a lot of files I do a git status and there we go um, I'm not a big fan but you could also do git add dot which means the current directory so it adds the whole directory uh, but this is not very Good practice to use that, but um, I'll let you, it's easy. You just have to type the dot instead of shift a minus shift a. So um, yeah, if you guys want to use that, that's fine too. Now we have added the files to the staging area. Now we want to commit, so I can do git commit. If I press enter, it's going to ask me to type a message. I'd rather just type it with a minus m key. Uh, in double quotes in Windows, single quotes work on Linux. Um, so if you want to use single quotes, that's fine. I'm just going to give it a vague name. First commit from Windows. And there we go, it's added them. So if I do a git status now, it should say that the working directory is clean. Working tree clean. What this means is it has added the files to the local it has committed the changes to the local repository uh, the change for us was adding the file so which is why it says create mode so now we have to push these to um, github so we have to create a empty repository so we can push this up okay I'm on my github page github home uh, I'm just going to create a new repository and call it uh, sample junk project. These don't have to match. Um, what I mean by that is the name you've given to your repository. Uh, or the local repository and your remote don't have to match so I'm going to leave it public uh, no readme git no git ignore nothing um, I mean I'll, I can tell you more about that but in a different video so um, here we go this is uh, this is the welcome to your new repository screen from github uh, it tells us how we can do this it says okay um, get in it git add readme if you want to do it with the command line and then you commit first commit and then you I'm just gonna grab this here and I'm gonna add a remote oops you used to win Linux paste oh, that's not gonna work. paste okay so uh, all I'm saying is add a remote and call it origin and that's the name uh, that's the well URL of the remote repository this this label origin could be anything it's just a label it's a tag so when I do this um, there's there's other things I could do I could do a git remote oh no git config minus minus global um, username I'm just going to give it my name and git config. You could do your email address, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. You could uh, all you have to do is user dot email and then type in your email address. Um, so we're all set. I'm going to try and push now. Git push will work usually, but it's going to fail at the moment, and it's going to say set up set up stream. Or I could also do git push minus u for upstream origin master 
and that should work too. It might prompt me for my login. Okay, it doesn't. Perfect. Which means I have already um, set that up. I, I've already committed with this ID. Usually it'll come up and say, what's your username? You type in that and you, you then enter your password. Uh, it's got a, quite a few files, so I think it could take a couple of minutes. I'm just going to pause the video uh, for the upload to complete. While that's happening in the background, um, I will go ahead and, and show you how you can clone an existing repository. Um, so I'll just use this to go back and go back to my sample. Uh, sample project. There we go. Um, now you got this clone download button. So you use that and copy this link. All you need is that, but you go to this, I'll also keep this in the background. It's still uploading. Um, while, okay, so I'm in the right folder. So if I do a git, sorry, uh, dir. There's only one folder, it's called sample local project. Now if I just paste what I copied and go git clone, this is another way of creating or cloning a repository. So you're not creating it empty, you're just cloning something that already exists on GitHub. So if I do that, it's gonna start cloning and there should be a new folder that comes up under uh, sample project. So if I do dir, so there's a new new um, folder called sample project. I'm going to go into sample project. Oops. Sample project. Okay, that one. Um, dir and it should be different. It has CSS fonts, image. So this is a, a different repository. That's what you see here. There's an index HTML. Um, yeah, so that's that. And if I do a git status, it's got, it says it's all clean. So all, all I, all I can, what I can do is um, I'll just copy index.html to index.txt. Okay, this is Windows. So copy, okay. DIR. So there's now a new file called index.txt. So if I do a git status, it should complain. Or, well, it should say there's a new file. So uh, we did git add, or let me show you a shortcut. Uh, we did a git add and then we did a git commit. So I could do a direct git commit and I can say all and with a message. And the message for this commit will be added index.txt from secret repo and okay that's not good um git comment minus the cap line nope okay that's not gonna work um, so I'll do a git add dot. I'll use the easy process I showed you guys, and then comment, and then now git push. It shouldn't work. It should complain about the remote unless it's cached my login. Yeah, it is. So it saved my login, which is why it's uh, it's pushing successfully. So now if I go back to GitHub, there should be three comments. And the third comment should be just now, 24 seconds ago. So if I go back, it just said three comments. There it is. And it says added index.txt from a secret repo, which I just committed. Uh, so that's how you can add a, or, or well, you can clone an existing repository and start using it. And you'll be able to commit stuff to your repository right away. Uh, and this has completed, so if we go back to that repository on 
it should be on top repositories and it should come up on the top junk project and yeah it's added all these jar files nine minutes ago and there's only one commit it should be first commit from win which is what I used um, as a message to commit so that's how you can use uh, git to clone a repository um, I think I'll stop here for this video I'll be making more videos talking about how you can use different functions from within git and uh, all these functions or commands if you will um, so we looked at git clone and git init in, in, in this video and we looked briefly at uh, git add you could also do remove move and reset uh, and we, we did git push as well in this video so we'll look at some more commands in the next video uh, thank you everyone for watching you have a good day